Hello everyone and welcome to another how-to video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about shortcuts, um, some simple ones that I think you all are very familiar with uh, and some that you probably are not. Um, so I don't want to insult your intelligence with these easy ones, I just want to remind you that you can use these features in class in. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first one I want to talk about here is control A. Um, and this is to select all, this is just like in other programs. So let's say you have separate text fields here, a little bit more text. Hey, what's up? Um, if I hit Control A, I will select all of those, uh, even my arrow over here, and I can move everything at once, or hit Delete, boop, and delete everything at once. Uh, so Control A should work, and you should probably use it often. It's very useful uh, to make sure you don't miss anything. Um, Control D will delete. You can also just hit the delete button. Uh, copy and paste, control C and control V also works. Uh, and uh, it'll also work with selecting multiple things. So let's say you're drawing something. Um, you draw a, I don't know, a little doggy. Um, oh no, this is going to be very ugly. Uh, <laughs> so you draw something. Is this a dog? I don't know what this is. But if you uh, select over all of the things and hit Control and Control V, then it will <laughs> paste that for you. Okay, so copy and paste works. Um, and uh, again, Control A, select everything. Control D, delete it. Uh, Z, control Z and Control Y, undo and redo, will also work. Um, so if you make a mistake, mistake. Um, you can just go ahead and hit Control Z and get rid of it. And you're like, oh wait, I want that. Control Y will bring it back. So Z and Y work. Uh, these next two are very important and very useful. Uh, and you might not know about these because these are unique to uh, class in. When you're drawing a line, sometimes it's hard to make a, it straight. But if you want it to look nice, you can hold Shift and draw your line and it will automatically become a straight line uh, however you want. Okay, so if you want to make a straight arrow, right, you can do something like this. Um, so shift will make a straight line and alt and then click and drag. Oops, excuse me. Let me select my drawing tool again. Let's change the color. Let's make it purple. Um, alt, click and hold and you can draw a circle of different sizes. Uh, oops, as big or as small as you want. Uh, so those two features are very useful if you want to make things look a little neater. You can circle things with a perfect circle or uh, draw that straight line. So that is shift for the drawing the line, hold shift, and then hold alt and click to make a circle. Okay, next I want to talk about real quick, each of the uh, your tools over here, you see I'm doing shift to make straight line, uh, has a shortcut associated with it. If you, for some reason, you don't want to just move your mouse over and click, um, maybe you're very good at shortcuts and you like using your left hand as well, uh, or right hand, depending on which hand you use the mouse with. But uh, each of these has their own. Control G will select the click. Um, Control M, and you can start moving things. Control P, and you can start drawing again. Control T, click and type. Um, Control Alt and X, and you can take a screenshot. Uh, so all of these, Control D, Delete, Control L is your laser. All of these have a shortcut associated with them if you want to use that. I typically don't. I just It's quicker for me just to move my mouse over and click and go. But you have that option. Um, let's go on to some more, slightly more advanced. Now, let's say you're teaching and your board has become kind of a mess and you want to wipe everything uh, and you want a perfectly clean board you can hit control N. Um, if you just control A delete, that should clean it up right, but anything that's locked, like this picture you see is locked, anything that's locked will not disappear. But with control N, completely clean. There's nothing on this blackboard anymore. So you can do that if you want to completely wipe something. Let's go back. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, control O is a short way to open a uh, new EDB file. It'll ask if I want to clear everything. I don't want it right now. Um, so then I can search for my EDB file. Control O will open. Control S will save. And it'll look like this. Um, put your file name in in the path or save it to your cloud. But uh, if you hit Control Shift 
S. This will save it too, but in a different way. And this is important, so I'll, I'll explain it real quick. Uh, if you just hit Control S, it's going to compress any pictures um, down to the size you save them at. So if you have like a big picture and you you make it smaller before you save, it will save this smaller and it will compress it. So it won't be as crisp or clean if you were to you know make it large enlarge it again. Um, so if you hit Control Shift S, it will not without compressing. It will not compress the picture. So things will be a little crisper, a little cleaner. I almost always use Control Shift S because I mean you want things to look clean and not get blurry uh, if they lose quality, right? And uh, as long as space or storage is not a concern, there's no reason really not to use Control Shift S. Um, but if you're trying to save space, you can do just regular Control S. All right, this next one, uh, admittedly, is not super useful because I don't usually make EDB files this long. But if you wanted to hit Control Shift and, and O, it will jump to the middle. In my case, to page 26, uh, the 26th thing down. Uh, <laughs> so if you want to use that, it's an option. Uh, the next two, <clears throat> page up and page down, these are pretty convenient. If you don't want to scroll with your mouse up and down, you can just hit page up on your keyboard or page down to go between pages smoothly and quickly. Uh, home, let's say I go down a lot, page down, 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 down. I'm on 10 here. Uh, if I hit home, it'll automatically take me up to the top. And if I hit end, it'll automatically take me to 50 at the end, right? Uh, so that's some ways I can jump around my EDB file quickly. Uh, this last thing, it's very simple and you probably thought about it naturally, but just in case you didn't. Uh, let's say we have something, some, I'll just do text. Uh, this, this is text. Uh, let's say you want to move something with your mouse and you can't get it exactly where you want it. Uh, if you use left, right, up, and down, when you have something selected on your keyboard, it'll move it as well in very, very small increments. So if you need to put something very precise, you can use the left, right, up, and down to fit something in perfectly if you're a little bit OCD like I am. Uh, so that can be very helpful. So that's actually all for our video today on uh, some basic and more advanced shortcuts with Class N. If you have any questions or any recommendations on what the next video is, you can leave those in the comments. And we'll take a look at that as we prepare more uh, how-to videos for you. As always, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you online.